All right, gonna show you that Jesus Christ is the image of God. Okay, when Jesus Christ says in John 14, 9, or John 14, 7 to 9, he that has seen me has seen the Father, he's saying that because, I believe he's saying that because he's the image of God. Because God is one person made of a body, soul, and spirit, okay? Man is made in the image of God. Genesis chapter 1, verse 26 to 27 talk about that. And according to 1 Thessalonians 5, 23, man has a body, soul, and spirit, okay? Man is made in the image and likeness of God, too. I'll put that in the likeness of God, because that's what the Genesis 1 says. So God also has a body, soul, and a spirit, okay? Jesus is the body, the Father is the soul, the Holy Ghost is the spirit. One person, three in one. Like 1 John 5, 7, 1 John 5, 7, sorry, says, For there are three that bear a record in heaven, the Father, the Word, and the Holy Ghost, and these three are one. It doesn't say these three persons are one, it just says these three are one. That's why Matthew chapter 28, verse 19 with talks about the baptism it says in the name singular of the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. Again, paraphrasing of course, but Jesus is the image of God. That's simple. God is one person. Okay. Second Corinthians chapter four, verses four to six. In whom the God of this world hath blinded the minds of them which believe not, lest the light of the glorious gospel of Christ, who is the image of God, should shine unto them. For we preach not ourselves, but Christ Jesus the Lord, and ourselves your servants for Jesus' sake. For God, who commanded the light to shine out of darkness, hath shined in our hearts to give us the light of the knowledge of the glory of God in the face of Jesus Christ. Compare this over to John 14, 7 to 9, and John 12, 45, when Jesus says, basically seeing him is seeing the Father. He is the image of God. Colossians 1, verses 13 to 15. Who hath delivered us from the power of darkness, and translated us into the kingdom of his dear Son, in whom we have redemption through his blood, for the, even the forgiveness of sins, who is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of every creature. He is the image of God. And a really powerful verse, which actually destroys the thing of God being three persons, is Hebrews chapter 1, verses 1 to 3. God, who at sundry times and in diverse manners spake in time past unto the fathers by the prophets, hath in these last days spoken unto us by his Son, whom he hath appointed to be heir, appointed heir of all things, by whom also he made the worlds. Or sorry, made, sorry, also he made the worlds. Not good at reading. Uh, who being the brightness of his glory and the express image of his person, and upholding all things by the word of his power, uh, when he had by himself purge our sins, sat down on the right hand of the majesty on high. Jesus Christ is the image of God the Father's person. Oh no, but Jesus Christ is, is a separate person. No, he's not. He's the image of God the Father's person. That's simple. God is one person. He's not three persons that are all God, but somehow are not three gods, but one God. The Trinity is a heresy. It comes from a uh, pagan Roman religion. It comes from occultism and witchcraft. And the Roman Catholic Church simply just borrowed this concept and made it try to Christianize it, Christianizing paganism and witchcraft and occultism. The Trinity is satanic. The Trinity denies the God of the Bible. That's simple. So don't be deceived by this Trinity heresy. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.